Uh, yeah. Now, Dion is the talk of all of college football. I got a chance to go to the Celebration Bowl uh, this weekend in Atlanta. I was there on site, uh, sights and sounds, watched the, the loss uh, up close and personal. <laughs> Tears were flowing. <laughs> it was crazy. Now we know what we know he's gone. The question is, who's going to go with him? Both of his sons hit the portal. We know they're going to Colorado. He's already kind of made that known. Yeah. Question is Travis Hunter. He hits the portal late last night. Actually, after I fell asleep, you know, I'm a I'm a late guy. I don't know when the paperwork got processed. Usually doesn't go through on the weekends. So that was a surprise. He hits the portal. Now the word is okay, Georgia's in the mix, Miami, uh, USC. It's not a done deal to Colorado, but uh, other people are are mocking us for even asking the question. So what do you think, Gorney? Yeah, I don't think it's like absolutely certain. Now, would I be surprised if Tomorrow he comes out and says he's going to play for Dion. No, not at all. There's a lot of momentum there. He has said, he, he even said throughout his high school thing, and he wasn't hiding it, that he wanted to play for Dion, that he wanted to learn from the best, that he essentially you know, kind of felt maybe like Dion Sanders 2.0. He certainly carries himself with confidence, plays with that confidence. So all of that could be, could be a factor. Do I think he's thrilled to go play at Colorado? No, I don't. Um, I, I don't think it, I don't think he is. Dion, you know, talks a big game, but this was a team that was one and 11 and horrible this past season. Um, you know, he, he's, he's done okay in recruiting so far. Dylan Edwards is definitely the biggest get. I think Anthony Robinson, the D back uh, junior college kid is, is good, but you know, you need to basically turn over this entire roster to be competitive in the pac 12. Do I think Travis Hunter wants to get into that? He probably will, um, but I'm not sure he's crazy about it. And like we've talked about before, there's going to be significant amounts of NIL money thrown at him uh, from every other school in the country. So, uh, you know, I know he only played about half the season there, um, but he's still a phenomenal player and every school in the country would make room for him. I think he wants to sort of weigh that out and see what he can do. He already has the Dion bona fides from the one year at Jackson State. If something, you know, really intriguing comes his way, either money-wise or situation-wise, I don't necessarily think he'd turn it down. Um, but I, again, I would be surprised if he didn't end up at Colorado right now. So I tweeted about it today. First of all, seeing Travis in person, I mean, he put on some really good weight. I mean, yeah. definitely been hitting the weight room. That was always a concern is how skinny was he? But he's already just in 12 months, looks like a totally different player. I mean, just physically, uh, he, he might still kind of look skinny to when you're watching a football game, but he has a corner. You know what I mean? He's not supposed to be uh, super big, but sure. he's definitely filled out, number one. Number two, off the field. This is a guy who has really embraced every aspect of being like a brand and a star. We're talking Twitch streams. We're talking YouTube series. We got the Amazon show coming out in about a week. So this is a guy who is a star. And I think that's one of the things he kind of has learned from Dion is, hey, look, you are a star. I'm going to act like a star. I'm the, the star of every show. After the game, I mean, I posted a couple of clips. He was going to every one of his teammates, telling them not to be down. He was not the one crying. He wasn't there crying. You right. know, he, he's a leader of the team. When Dion's trying to round people up and get him to the locker room, he's right there as almost like a second lieutenant. So I was really impressed with all those aspects because Travis was kind of like more of a – a shy kid when yeah. you talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. He wasn't necessarily like, you know, boisterous, even though he let us play do a lot of the talking. So I do think he's going to at least field calls. And I think that's one of the things that people don't understand is like, okay, if Kirby Smart calls you and you're Travis Hunter, what are you going to do? Just not pick up the phone? Right. You know, hear what right. he has to say. He visited Georgia several times last fall. You know, hey, if Arch Manning calls you and says, hey, come play with me at Texas, you know, or yeah. Caleb yeah. Williams – Hey, you can play both ways. We've done it in the past with, with uh, you know, guys at USC before. I think he's going to listen. I do think it is an uphill build at Colorado. You look at their schedule. I mean, <laughs> it's unbelievably brutal next year. Even yeah. like even their non-conference games. It's like, you know, it's hard to find more than a couple wins there, even if they do have a huge influx of talent. And then the thing, it's like they've got good players leaving that's why I kind of didn't like the, hey, hit the portal thing. When you see an offensive lineman going to Florida State, you're like, well, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait, 
you don't got to go in the portal <laughs> or guys going to Cal. It's like, you could stay, you know, I think that's, that's I think when Dion cool. said he was bringing Louie, he probably meant some guy named Louie. Cause there's not much, uh, not much else there. My thing well, with Travis Hunter, and this is what, this is kind of my take on it is that like Travis Hunter learned a lot from Dion in one year on the field. There's no doubt about it. Deion Sanders is a brilliant cornerback, one of the best ever to play it. And he's been a good coach, but he's coached in 32 games, none at the power five level. And so he's also learned a lot from Dion off the field. Like you said, how to build a, a brand that can make you significant money, how to carry yourself, how to present yourself to the public and all of those things. And as much as some people cringe about this is part of like the college football experience now. So coaches who embrace NIL and in coach brand building and Travis Hunter was around Dion for a year. And we've seen Dion at the Under Armour game do this. He's a guy, he's chit chatting with a coach. The camera comes on and Neon Dion comes out. A coach prime comes out. There's a little bit of a, you know, a showmanship there, which fine, good or bad or however indifferent people gravitate toward that. And you can see it, you know, I, I, I turn on YouTube and, and the first clip that shows up is him telling his team to go to the portal and him sitting in the running back room and saying, I don't know if there's the dog in here and answering questions like they know how to present what Deion Sanders is, his image. And so Travis has learned that now. Does he want to carry that with him to Colorado and continue to build it there? Or does some marketing agency in LA, some marketing agency in Austin, Texas, do the people who are, you know, around NIL and all of these schools say, Travis, come do it here now, do it at the, do it on the biggest stage. Um, that will be, I think, intriguing to Travis Hunter. I don't know if it will compel him to do it, but it's certainly going to be a factor. 